Now, French police today identified another of the ISIS terrorists who attacked in Paris last month. Seven have now been named, but three are still unidentified. Elizabeth Palmer is in the French capital. 23-year-old Fouad Agad, a French citizen, joined ISIS in Syria in 2013. But then somehow, he slipped back into France and helped to gun down 90 music fans at the Bataclan concert hall before being killed at the scene. The police had no idea who Agad was until his mother got a text from Syria saying her son had been killed on the 13th of November, the day of the attacks. That led forensics teams to match DNA samples from the body found in the Bataclan to samples provided by the Agad family. Only one of the core group of Paris attackers is still alive. Salah Abdeslam escaped and is presumed to be on the way or even already in Syria. Also still alive and on the wanted list are all those who provided support, says the anti-terrorism consultant Jean-Charles Brizard. Uh, probably more than 20 individuals have been involved in a way or another in terms of providing logistics, uh, support, um, uh, transportation, financing for this network. One such suspect is Mohamed Abrini, seen on surveillance video in one of the terrorist cars two days before the attacks. With more than 2,000 property searches in less than a month and more than 250 arrests, the pressure is on anyone in France who's been to Syria or has links to extremists. But there are more than 10,000 of them. So the French intelligence services would have to grow by what? Double? Triple? To handle the problem? It, at least. It won't be sufficient. We need around 20 to 30 uh, agents to follow 24 hours a day, uh, one single individual. And Scott, to add to the stress, French intelligence thinks that ISIS will try more attacks in France to make themselves look strong. But above all, to distract from the fact that in Iraq and Syria, at the moment, they are steadily losing ground. Liz Palmer reporting for us tonight in Paris. Liz, thanks.